Hey everybody, what's up? What's going on? Happy Friday. That's what today is. Today is July 5th. I didn't look at my calendar. Yes, I did. Okay, today's um, book review is uh, I'm going to be covering several books, so bear with me. Book with me. <laughs> so first on our list of books that I'm looking to read is a book by John Lloyd and his co-writer John Mitchelson which is uh, basically a creator of this British TV show called um, QI. I just Googled that. Um, the book's called The Book of General Ignorance. And one of the pages that I picked out to read over today, um, kind of as a quiz for the audience here, um, my audience. All right, who was the first American president? Was it George Washington? Nope. Apparently, it was this dude called Peyton Randolph, and he was the first of 14, pre-14, uh, pre-Washington presidents of the Continental Congress. I said, yeah, word, never heard of that dude. So, I Googled it, and it turns out that A, they had to pull that information from Google, and Google is lying to us, or B, they pulled the information from somewhere else, and that's actually legitimate stuff. Now, the interesting thing about that particular book um, this particular book, which is on page 96, um, it's, there's like, how do we know? Like, how do we fact check that stuff? That's a question for the audience. I'm not too familiar on how to fact check uh, this book. Don't, it's a, a New York Times bestseller, but I don't know how they went about getting their information. Um, there is no glossary, I believe, inside of this particular book. Maybe it's online. I gotta check it out. But that's not to hinder you. It's just to ask more questions. I think it's cool. And um, yeah, check check it out. Looks like something. I think it's gonna be interesting. I I just kind of skimmed through it, but I'm looking to read the rest of it. Let's see what's up. Let's see what the next one is. Next one on our list. I don't know. It got me excited about reading like detective books and stuff like that. This one is by Hideo Yokoyama. Hope I said your name right. Um, this is titled Six Four, the international bestseller. All right, so we're crossing seas at this point. This particular story seems to be about a detective who goes out there, lives the detective life for many, many, many years. There's something about missing children in this particular book. I literally read the back of the cover and I said, I want to read this. And um, yeah, uh, right here it says, a real out of the blue original. I've never read anything like it. Yokohama is a master. Terrence something something a New York Times book review um, here's another one possesses that elusive trait of a first-rate novelist the ability to grab readers interest and never let go seems pretty cool and what I really loved about this book too is um I just I just love the, the, the concept of, of, of the, the artwork of the cover art I thought that was really cool they say don't judge a book by its cover but by goodness gracious how can you not this is a great cover I love the little insert that it has on the um, left hand side it says a novel it's beautiful it's beautiful. It's artwork. It's beautiful. I love how the the characters are on the top, um, up in front of the English letters. I think that was a great move. Whoever thought about putting that together like that. Shout out to the cover art makers over there at that um, wonderful production agency over there. Okay, it's a crime. It's a crime scene. It's, seen, it's a crime scene. It seems interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to reading that bad boy. Um, I wish I could give you more, but I don't have any more until I read it. But um, this is basically like a heads up wink that I might be looking to read that bad boy. Um, the, the particular author, is, he looks hilarious. I, I wanted to see what the author looked like, especially if I don't know what the author looks like. I like to just Google real quick. I'm shouting out Google so much, man. It's crazy. It's okay. Um, so this guy looks mad chill. He's like, yeah, I just smoked a cigarette. I don't see no smoke from his cigarette, which tells me... Maybe this is not a real picture. I don't know. I could be, I could lie. This is probably not true. I'm probably dumber than what I think I am. And um, yeah, it looks like a cool, um, scary um, R.L. Stein kind of writer. I don't know. That's the kind of vibe he's giving me. That's it. Next on our list is a comedy slash horror book. And I thought that was pretty interesting. So when I first picked it up, I thought it was like a legit Ikea magazine. I looked at it closely and I looked at the back. And then I saw like disturbing pictures that you can see inside of the picture frames. I said, wait a second, what the, what is this? So this is a novel by Grady Hendrix. Um, basically, 
He writes a whole bunch of stuff like this, I'm assuming. I checked out his website. I got it in the link, so check that out as well. But if you look inside the pictures, you see all this ghost stuff. So the concept of this story is that there's some supernatural shit going down at this um, Ikea type of store. Um, at least that's what I got from the wiki description. It looks great. I really want to check this out. I really just uh, ran to Barnes & Nobles today and just literally just picked out as many books as I could in the time period that I had and then see just like if just take a picture of them and keep moving. Um, I would like to come back and read it. So some books I was able to get like a second page to it kind of thing if, um, if I had time to get it. The next book I'm reading that I would like to read is called 30,000 Years of Art which is by a publisher named by Fadon. I hope I spelled that right. It's the story of human creativity across time and space and one of the pages that I stumbled upon was um, the 28,000 BC picture of this particular uh, lovely lioness at least that's what the column was saying that it was it's just interesting just think about that 28,000 BC that's like it's like far you know what I mean like and they were making art like that they like, just just think what they were doing back then that's amazing you know just think about that you know what i mean i'm not gonna put thoughts in your head because i don't know what the hell was going on thirty thousand years ago but think about that what the hell you think was going on i don't know sounds pretty cool though that's all i can say but yeah i thought that was impressive like i can't even make that that's this is fucking amazing okay um next on our lovely list um is um yeah the instant pot bible it's the only bible that i read i confess i'm very religious when it comes to food um unless i try to be uh, this one's by bruce weinstein and mark scarber 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 i think that's the name the only book you need for every model of instant pot all right it says more than 350 recipes and strategies that's what i like i like the strategies because i don't know how to cook at all so i need strategies um, it doesn't seem like a legit cookbook, but for me, it's my Bible cookbook. And anybody who doesn't like cookbooks, you probably know how to cook already. That's probably why you don't like them. But um, hey, uh, for no cooking experience like I am, I think this would be a great treat for me. And one of the videos, I have a video down there in the description, so check that out. Y you got to make it. It just looks great. Why not make it? Do it. Just don't stop. Just do it. And um, last but not least, I really just want to say that Barnes & Noble doesn't only... Why am I shouting out Barnes & Noble? Bookstores don't only carry just like stuff to read that's imaginary and stuff like that. Sometimes it's about creative things. It's about um, prompts and things of that nature. So this one I really thought was really interesting. It's called Discover Who You Are, a family tree workbook. Um, I don't know if the bargain price sticker on there covers the, the name of that, but I would like to get the name for you and put it in the description. But when you open this book, basically it's like a way for you to document your family tree. I just never seen that before. I thought that was amazing. And always wondering like who's who in my family which would be kind of cool to kind of just map it out. Because it's like always one person in your family that knows everybody in your family. And if that person dies, it's kind of like uh, information gets lost. I thought that was just pretty cool. Like if, you know, if you're being like say wiped out by genocide or something like that, you could like at least pick all those things up back together and it's kind of like a walking history book of your own people at this that that was pretty cool i don't know why i picked genocide as an example but i'm extreme like that and that's basically it oh ooh, 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 i forgot i forgot the last one i saw just before i got on the line to go pick um to to purchase one of the books that i bought which i will show you in the next video <laughs> so this one's called creative quest new york times bestseller you see how all these are like bestsellers pretty interesting yeah okay but this one's called um creative quests by quest love okay and it's basically his journey on what works for him creatively and he has like little rules not little rules but he has rules or steps that he follows um that helps him keep in the zone so to speak um i i'll put a link there too so you can go check out what are those five or six things that they mentioned in one of the um, reviews that they had of this book I would love to read this um, musically. I respect the man. I just, I just would love to see how he does it. You know, it's pretty cool. It's like talking to a living legend. I mean, learning from a living legend and how they do stuff. Even the cover art is beautiful. It's like, wow, that's genius. You know what I mean? It looks like some cool stuff's going there. It's very creative. All right, thank you, everybody. Uh, my name is Austin Christopher Cabrera. Um, and 
yeah, that's just um, that's all I have for today. These are books, once again, that I would love to um, pick up and actually read. Um, but basically, I just went to the store today, just checked it out. Um, wanted to give you uh, maybe you know maybe you read these books already. Like that's great. You know, tell me what they're about. Comment. You know, do you have them read them already? Cool. Then read with me. You know, what I mean, I'm gonna try to pick up these books um, next week and and just pick up and read a chapter from them and probably report back to you guys what my findings were. But long story short, have a great weekend. And uh, duh, if you're gonna do drugs, make sure it's um, just make sure um, it's books book reading and uh yeah um drink apple juice it's good for your uh, your your head i don't know i heard that somewhere i don't know if it's true fact check me on that all right read it or leave it you can read it or leave it it's up to you i don't care as long as you're reading that's what's important to me um take care bye mm-hmm.